what if I do this? What if I do that? What if I do this? What if I do that? Oh, you caught me. That is really cool. Well, my friends, the Rhino R2 finally came out and I'm super excited to play with it. But first, we're going to unbox everything because they sent over the whole enchilada. Not an actual enchilada, because that'd be, that'd be weird. Although, not so weird. But we got the R2, we got, what else? We got the motor, and we got the Focus, and, uh, what? well, let's start unboxing, shall we? You can tell by the look in my face I'm not very strong from opening a cardboard box. <laughs> Okay, all right, starting off simple. This is, whoa. Okay, very cool. We got our case. Let's go ahead and open this guy. Said the surgeon. Uh, I'm assuming we put our slider in here, here's our straps, and some other pockets where we can put accessories. All right, cool, we can get to this in a second. So let's put this to the side. Oh boy, all right, so now we have our slider. First of all, I love the Rhino Rove Pro. That is such a great slider to take with you anywhere. But this guy, wow, this is this is the Mama Pajama. This is the Mama Pajama. It's like a shoe unboxing or something, except a slider. Let's pull this guy out, said the surgeon. You know, considering how big the slider is, it's a really, really light slider. Okay, cool. So we have we have our slider. Oh, and uh, just to compare, let me pull out the uh, Rhino Rove Pro. Where did I put it? Okay, so in here is the Rhino Rove Pro slider. Definitely my favorite slider until now. Here is the size of the Rhino Rove Pro. Here is the size of the daddy of the Rhino Rove Pro. Look at it. Look at it. I mean, obviously this is heavier, but not by much. That's crazy. All right, R2, let's do this. Oh man, this, this is actually heavier than the slider itself. All right, here we go, shoe unboxing time. Nope, no shoes. Look at that. There it is in all its glory. Don't fall out, don't fall out, don't fall out. He didn't fall out, very nice. And if you don't know what the ARC-2 is, the Rhino ARC-2 is essentially a, a motion control kit that you can attach to a slider so that as you slide, you can pan the camera, you can tilt the camera. Just a really cool way to, to bring some life to your to your sliding shots. Oh, good grief. Ooh. Oh man, that is, that's heavy. That's actually pretty dang heavy. Very cool, all right, let's put this off to the side. We have this guy, let's go ahead and set this to the side. Don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. All right, we have the, uh, now we have the motor. Baby shoe unboxing. No baby shoe. All right, so this is the motor unit that you can attach to the slider. So we're gonna get to that in a second. And last but not least, the focus system. So here you have the carbon rod that you can attach to the ARC-2, and here is the gear to uh, control the focus ring of your lens, so pretty handy. Uh, okay, let's go set this thing up. Nice. Not too shabby, right? All right, cool. All right, let's go set up the slider. So here is the Rhino slider, and the first thing that we're gonna do is make sure that the carriage brake is uh, unlocked, because if it's tightened up, then the, the whole carriage is not gonna, it's not gonna move, but it's, uh, it's moving, so we are good to go. So there are knobs at the end. Let's go ahead and uh, get the feet out. So now that we're leveled, let's go ahead and bring out the Arc 2. Ooh. Now to put the Arc 2 onto the slider, you don't twist and turn and all that stuff. There's actually a much cooler way to do it. So just go ahead and turn on the Arc 2. Here's a power button right over there. Just press and hold for three seconds until it turns on. Un, deux, trois, one, two, three, un, un, dos, tres. And with the joystick, you're just gonna keep navigating to the right until you see mount on and off. And to select it, just press down on the joystick and uh, just follow directions. Oh, okay, you ready for this? This is really cool. All right. I'm ready, I'm gonna push down on the joystick, and... The pan motors are tightening the Arc 2 by itself. And to mount off, 
select that same option again, but this time select off and hold on to it. It's loosening and it's gone. Very cool. Okay, so now that it's on, what we're gonna do is that we're going to attach our motor. And so here is the motor. And if you look to the right of the slider, there are screws that you gotta attach the motor over. And you'll see, you'll, you'll be able to slide that motor in. And once it's uh, on there, just tighten the knobs and you are good to go. Uh, okay, so next thing is to attach our camera. Obviously, I'm using my main cam right now to record this whole thing, and so we're just gonna pretend, and we're going to pretend that this plate is our camera. On the bottom of the plate are handles where you can actually tighten the screw onto the camera, but if you need to tighten it uh, a little bit more, there's actually a key that you can pull out, which is really cool right over here. Uh, it looks like it's actually a bottle opener as well, but you can actually use that and uh, basically use it as a screwdriver and just tighten up the screw onto your camera even more. So I'll just put that here for now. And once your camera is attached to the plate, you can mount it onto the Arc 2. And so uh, what you wanna do first is that there is this little uh, lever here or lever, just flip it up and that'll loosen up the base. And then after that, simply slide in your PL plate onto the mount and close the lever or lever. And now your camera is mounted on. If you have a camera setup where the lens that you're using is a cine lens, there is a focus module that you can actually attach to the Arc 2. So here's a focus module and here's a carbon rod. And uh, there's a section near the base plate where you can actually attach the rod. And with that, you can align the gear with the focus ring of the lens. Or if your lens doesn't have big enough teeth, there are rubber gears that you can attach around the focus ring and connect the rubber focus ring to the gear so that you can control the focus from the Arc 2. So once the Arc 2 is set, what you wanna do is connect the motor to the Arc 2. Uh, where is it? There it is. So if you want to um, uh, use time lapse with your camera and the Arc 2, uh, you actually wanna attach this cable first. Uh, there's a reason why. It's because of the position of the, the ports on the side over here. It's the left side of the Arc. Uh, if you take a look at this cable over here, it's angled and the reason why is because this whole thing is designed so that the cables don't get in the way of the actual slider. It just kind of goes around it. So let's just pretend we're connecting uh, this to the camera. I'll just keep it right here. And now we want to attach this cable to the motor. Just bring it around to the back, the motor, and simply attach. Okay, so now we are set on that. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's the settings, uh, there's calibration and all that stuff. But if you wanna know more about how to do that, then check out Rhino Gear's YouTube channel. They got a bunch of tutorials on how to use this entire setup. And so definitely give them a follow. Oh, and uh, there's also a phone holder because you actually get to use your phone in a really cool way. So with the app, you can actually use the camera of your phone to do auto tracking in video mode, which is Freaking fantastic. I'll get to that in a second, but let's go ahead and test out the Arc 2. Now I'm entering frame. Sweet! So looks like everything is set up perfectly and this is gonna be our first test. And uh, we're in video mode in the Arc 2 and essentially what you're seeing is a very basic sliding shot. That's when the camera slides from one end of the slider to the other. Now, if you notice in this particular movement, you're gonna notice a very slight camera pan, and that's because I've set up keyframes in the Arc 2. So on this end of the slider, I've set up this keyframe where the camera is at this position, and when the camera is now going to the other end of the slider, you're gonna notice that the camera is going to pan, resulting in the second keyframe that I've inputted, input that I've added into the Arc 2. Input it, is that a thing? So with motorized sliders, a very common question to ask is, are the motors loud? And so I can hear the motors right now and that's probably because I've set the duration of the slider to be six seconds, causing the motors to work harder than they really should in an interview. And so I'm gonna stay quiet for a few seconds so that you can hear it. I'm wearing a lav mic right now, it's the Rode Lav Go, and so I'm just gonna be quiet. Okay, so I can hear it. I don't know if you can hear it, but you won't be able to hear the motor noise as long as your duration is more than, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. Again, that's because the motors aren't moving as fast, but because the motors are moving fast, you are able to hear the motors working. 
Okay, so now we've opened up the app and we are in tracking mode. Now there are two tracking modes, interview mode and vlog mode, and right now we are in vlog mode. So basically, wherever I move, the camera is moving. Whoa, this is really trippy. This is really cool. Now, why is this important? Well, basically, it just eliminates having a second camera operator or a camera operator in general. I mean, you can't see it right now, but basically, my iPhone is set on top of my Sony a7 III, and with the iPhone's camera, the app is able to track my face and transfer that data to the Arc 2 so that wherever I go, the camera will follow. This is crazy. And the cool thing is that if I leave the frame, then the auto tracking will stop. So I'm gonna leave the frame right now. Oh, it's following me. Oh my gosh. Hello? Hello? Hey, ah, there it is. Very cool, wow. <laughs> that, is, that is too cool. Are we gonna be best friends? Nod. <laughs> what if I do this? What if I do that? What if I do this? What <laughs> if I... Oh, you caught me. That is really cool. <laughs> what happens if I cover my face? Oh, <gasps> you can't follow me. If you don't see the face, it won't follow me. All right, I'm gonna... I think I just hacked the system. <laughs> if you wanna check out the R2 and the whole kit that you just saw, then definitely check out the link in the description below, but there is an added bonus. If you use my promo code, SydneyD10, you can get 10% off anything off the entire store. So if you want the R2, 10% off. If you want the Rhino slider, 10% off. You wanna buy the company Rhino gear entirely, 10% off. Wait, not true. Not true. I'll ask, but I'm pretty sure it's not true. But 10% off the entire store, pretty sweet deal to me. So just make sure to click the link in the description below. Well, that was a pretty fun video to make. So thank you so much for watching. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Okay, fun story. So, <clears throat> oh, woo, I need a drink. <clears throat> this isn't what it, what it looks like. This is ginger beer, not actual beer. A quiet slider for the, a very quiet slider. Ugh. I just love living in a time where robots and machines do your job for you. I mean, I could easily unmount this thing if I wanted to, but because I don't have to, I can just let the robot do my job.